Hi! So, here we are, back in for some more Pokemon Flux. Last time, we wrapped things up over in Warbler Park by catching a bunch of new Pokemon and battling our rival, Terra. And we also took our first look at Condor City. And uh, now, we're gonna spend a little bit more time here in the Pokemon League Arena before heading over to the Elite HQ and getting registered. I didn't really mean to spend this much time in the arena. I really thought it was the headquarters for a while. A little confusing here in Condor City. Also, unlike previous episodes, this is not live commentary. Um, I started talking a little bit for this one, but then I was just really running out of breath. So everything you're hearing now is uh, peppered in at a later time. I'm probably not going to talk as much in this video as a result, but I will shine in when anything really important is happening. So yeah, I think this is where we saw the first match in the beginning of the game with uh, Altair versus Brian. So by now I finally realized that uh, the arena did not have anything more for me. There's not too much left to uh, poke around in here in Condor City either. Got another apartment building, it looks like. Pulling out Candy Floss again so he can get that nice uh, walking friendship boost. Sorry, I only follow skill trainers. Archie. Altair Corp has like Altair Pokemon bounty hunters, huh? Alistair turns down sponsorships. Hmm. At least that person was optimistic. Otherwise, we've had a bit of rude treatment here about not being a big shot trainer yet. So every league season is a fresh start, and it looks like Alistair's opponent, Bryant, has some fans too. Maybe we'll get to battle both of them at some point. Ew, I think I saw a Pokemon in that trash can. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have caught that Trubbish I fought uh, last video over that Zinc. So I'm gonna have to catch another one at some point. Probably off screen. Trubbish is not too exciting in a Pokemon game full of awesome new Fakemon. Here it is. Our friends and the HQ, finally. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't take long. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's 
finally it's time to register. Now let's head in. And uh, we probably don't want candy floss here in the front in case we gotta do some battling. Is that Champion Alistair? Shh, don't interrupt. Don't you know who that is he's talking to? That's the League Director himself. I see, I see. It's like that, is it? Seems like Alter Pokemon attacks are becoming more and more frequent. This is why now, more than ever, it's important that the region has a strong champion. So, Alistair, please. I recognize what you're saying. My answer's still no. I won't participate in the next League tournament. Did he just say what I think? Alistair's dropping out of the League? But he's the champion. Alistair. You're the most powerful trainer in the region. The steely master of the skies. So many trainers all across Altera look up to you. I can't understand why you're just walking away. I'm sorry, but my choice is final. Besides, there will be other strong trainers. In fact, some of them might even be here in this room. Uh, is he looking this way? Okay, stay calm. Act normal. Those three. Would they happen to be the three trainers you were telling me about earlier? That's correct. Though they did not yet have Pokémon of their own, they helped me fight off the Altar Pokémon in Warbler Park. Perhaps you should place your hopes in someone like that instead. Alistair. I can sense there's no convincing you to change your mind. That determination is what brought you to the championship after all. Still, should you ever reconsider, you know my door is always open. I appreciate it. Thank you for all you've done for me, Aquila. Perhaps I shall return to the League one day. Until then... You three. Take good care of those Pokémon. Sometimes it takes a firm hand to raise them to their fullest potential. That responsibility, it isn't one taken lightly. But I believe you already have the right instincts. The future of the Altera Pokémon League is yours now. Farewell. Did that really just happen? Alistair's not going to participate in the league anymore? That's too bad. Dune, didn't you say you wanted to battle him someday? Excuse me, you three. Well, well. What a way to ruffle someone's feathers, eh? That Alistair, so headstrong. He reminds me of myself when I was a young trainer. Ah, where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I'm Aquila Altair, director of the Altera Pokemon League. But you can just call me Aquila. You three. Alistair told me all about you. He did? Why, of course! It's not every day that you find someone with the guts to stand up to wild altar Pokemon. Without a Pokemon by your side, even. That courage and determination. Those are the skills that make a great trainer. You three. You're here to register for the League, aren't you? Yep. Thought so. Now normally there's a lot of paperwork, but... Oh, and a background check, an exam, all kinds of stuff. But if you got a sponsor, you're good. And it just so happens that the champion, former champion, vouched for the three of you himself. Excuse me. Mr. League Director Altair, sir. Ugh. How many times do I have to tell you not to call me Mr. Altair? Sounds like my brother. So stuffy. Just call me Aquila. Very well. Director Aquila, <laughs> here are the trainer cards you requested. Thanks! I'm sure you're familiar with the family business, Altair Corp. My brothers Antares and his sister Andromeda run it. But as for me, I never had the head for all that corporate stuff. Now Pokemon battles, that's what sets my heart ablaze. It gives me such hope seeing bright youngsters like you. Here, take these trainer cards and begin your adventure. Oh yeah, we 
we got our trainer cards. Whoa, it's so shiny and new. And that's not all. It's my honor to present you with my family's greatest invention, the mark of all great Alteran Pokemon trainers. Flux Bracers. That bracer is the most useful tool in a trainer's arsenal. Other than your Pokemon, of course. I'd explain what I mean, but I think it's best done with a live demonstration. Who wants to try it out? Dune, how about you go for it? Not that I'm nervous about battling the League Director or anything. It's alright. I know Doom will keep a cool head. You got this. Oh, so it's you? Before we begin, I'll teach all of your Pokémon a flex move for free. Alrighty then, let me show you the miracle of flux. Here we go. He's got some fun hair. And it's Sluchu! I love this thing! It's like a little nudibranch Pikachu alike, you know, a sea slug. I just think this is so cute. I hope I run into one. Because I'm totally gonna catch it. So yeah, uh, Flux Energy, we're gonna get to finally learn how that works in battle. You have FP in order to use Flex moves. There's that Flex button. And we have Calm Swarm here on Squeaks. So is also gonna use its one, which is Electrified Flood. And as you can see, Electrified Flood has uh, brought about an electric terrain. And then here comes the Flood, knocking poor Squeaks out. So, uh, do you remember the Alpha and the Beta? The Flux moves are a combination of two moves. Usually something that either like sets up a terrain or a weather or a uh, stat boost. And then the second part is usually an attack of some sort. And uh, depending on how you use your FP will determine if you are able to use just one flux move per battle or a small handful of them. Mozzarella wants to learn sleep powder. That's gonna be very useful. For catching Pokemon, that is. That's the stuff. And, uh, quite a payout there for that battle. I may be retired from Pokemon training, but I do enjoy a good battle now and then. I'm sure you noticed that these Flux Bracers are rather basic, but they're capable of so much more. Follow me. These little X kiosks here. These Flux kiosks will allow you to power up your Bracer. Press your hand against the receiver and you'll see what I mean. Alright, this is the Flux Kiosk, where you can upgrade your Bracer to increase max FP and other stuff using a currency called Flux Shards. So we're going to increase our FP first of all by 1. you figured out by now. A way to strengthen your Flux Bracer is through defeating Alter Pokemon. That's how you get the shards. Terra depends on brave trainers like you to keep its citizens safe. So we wanted to reward you for it. That does make sense. 
Most people wouldn't risk their safety without a reason. Here, you're a pretty smart kid, you know that? I bet you'll go far. One last thing. You do know how the Altera League works, don't you? Nope. It's a little different. Rather than collecting gym badges, trainers compete against one another to earn League Emblems. There are three League Arenas. One in Rooktown, one in Corvo City, and one in Cardinal City. If you can get all three League em Emblems, then you can compete in the Champion Tournament here in Condor City. For trainers that are just getting started, heading up to Rooktown in the north is a good idea for your first challenge. And you can also learn more at Alba Academy. Raise your Pokemon, defeat the altars, and climb the ranks of the League. Fame and adventure awaits! I'll be rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. That was unexpected. Looks like it's official! We're fully fledged trainers now! So, um... Where was it, Aquila said we should go? Rooktown? That's north of here. Now that we're officially trainers, they'll let us through the gate! That takes us through via Gold Coast. I don't think we're strong enough to challenge the League yet, so I'm gonna stop by Alba Academy. That's a good idea. We can learn all kinds of stuff there. But first, I want to explore Condor City. How about we split up and then meet up again at Alba Academy? Sounds good! Flux moves are two-part attacks that consist of an alpha and a beta move. Alpha moves trigger at the start of your turn. Beta moves trigger based on your Pokemon's speed. An attack always hits both foes in a double battle. We get FM11 uh, Vital and 26 Flame. Yes, talking to most people in this building will get us a bunch of free FMs to start out with. And then I accidentally talked to this person again. You get to read it twice! OMG, can you believe that Alistair is stepping down? I know, he's like the bestest trainer ever. No one else can even come close. And then again, I accidentally talked again. I thought the other one might have something else to say. And uh, there's another Deastric statue. I think that's what that Pokemon is. Special uh, Flux HFMs that are infinite use. We may see them at some point. Also, I finally worked it out that BP is base power. Yeah, right. You battled Aquila. The whole point of the Altera Pokemon League is to defeat Alter Pokemon. All the tournament stuff is besides the point. But I guess if it keeps people invested, it's worth it. How'd you get your Pokemon? Did you catch and raise them yourself? Were they a gift? Did you trade for them? Or were they hatched from an egg? Unlike regular attacks, flux moves don't use power points. They use flux points. It's shared across your entire team and it recharges in between battles. Flux sharp! Flux Toxin. I'm sure I'll get used to this mechanic more as I play, but I really like how much thought they put into it. Yeah, you need both parts of the Flux move. One is not enough. Flux 
I'm sure Squeaks here is learning the ins and outs of this system. He's going to be a complete expert by the time we walk out of here. His wormy little head is going to be filled with so many fluxy ideas. I had to take an exam in order to be qualified for the league, but I failed. If only I had an endorsement. No need for a test. Yeah, lucky us, huh? Welcome to the League HQ. You're already registered. <laughs> this little squeak gets me every time. He's damp. Like a good earthworm should be. You don't want them to dry out. So yeah, Calm Swarm increases special defense. And then we have a 90 base power bug type move. Sharp Shade. Ups attack. Calm magic. Ups special defense. Bright Bloom. Special attack. Speed Gale. Sharp Toxin. Take a look at what we got. We sure picked a lot picked up a lot of these FMs by now. But uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna stick with what my Pokemon come with for now. I'm not familiar enough with the system to know like if there's any serious strategic decisions I should be making at the moment. I really dig the music in this game, too. Candy Floss is glowing with health and keeping up with us. Enjoying this a little bit. Candy Floss is so cute! What's down here at the southern gate? hundred years ago, this was actually a dense rainforest, but we built over a lot of it. And as a result, native species were pushed out. In liquid form, flux energy is a fantastic power source. It's energy dense and it burns clean, doesn't pollute the water or the air, and it's everywhere, especially here around the southern nexus. It feels like a miracle. You there, hold up. Past here is the southern flux nexus. Sorry, but you're not allowed to go down there. Yeah, well, you know, we gotta go to Gulf Coast anyways. And we're gonna finally do that. Just kidding, we're gonna get interrupted. Howdy! My partner Pokemon Albashell can carry passengers on its back to just about anywhere in Altera. Normally, it's very expensive, but since you're in the Altera League, there's a special offer. An official air taxi pass, just for you. That pass will allow you to use the air taxi service for free, but you can only go somewhere you've been before. Something about preserving the spirit of adventure or something like that. There are air taxi locations in every major city in town. Just talk to the taxi driver, that's me, and I'll take you where you want to go. If you can't find a kiosk, remember, you can call us directly from the map. Happy flying! And now we can go. You need to defeat Alter Pokemon to get Flux Shards. Pokemon and Gold Coast are scrapping with each other at dawn all the time, but the rivalry seems to make them stronger. Huh, <sighs> I always like to take a rest before a long journey. And I record my progress in my notebook, that way I won't forget. And, uh... Nothing new at the shop. 
but we might as well get some more Pokeballs. We're about to run into some new Pokemon. Hold up. I'm only allowed to let you through if you're an official trainer with the Altera League. And huh, what do you know? You are. Go right ahead. I keep accidentally talking to people for the second time. But here it is. Gold Coast. And there it is. A regional Nidoran. Seriously, Nidorino is my favorite Pokemon, so as soon as I saw this thing, I'm like going for it. <laughs> so, yeah, isn't this funky? It's like brown, these little lighter spots. that's got this. Dust kick. Might be a ground type. Will this one do it? Yeah! So that goes pretty smoothly. We've got our Sosa Nidoran now. Little dusty seaside Nidoran. Nidoran is the tailored coat Pokemon, the old lineage of Nidoran. Males and females look alike, but come in two distinct coats. Its dark coat blends in with dry, rugged terrain. And indeed, it is a pure ground type. We're gonna call her Biscuit. And she is going in the party for now. I'm gonna have to boot out someone. It's an easy choice. Humborb's going back in the box. Next choices are not going to be so easy, though. I really like so many of the Pokemon designs in this game. It is going to be a terribly hard choice. Alrighty, here's another Pokemon I really like. Here's Pouchlet. Somebody mentioned this one in a Condor City. Something about how only the weak ones seem to evolve. I don't know what they mean by that yet, but I think this little fella is so cute! You know, this little possum. I don't know how I'm gonna make up my mind about who to train. I might shuffle things around a bit. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping Candy Floss, Mozzarella, and Taffy. You know, <laughs> this game's not making it easy on me. Giving two starters and they're both like amazing. Let's see if this will do it. Get ourselves a pouchlet. Yeah, there we go. The possum Pokemon! Lately, more and more of them have made cities their home, as the unfortunate habit of playing dead, even in the middle of the road. I'm gonna call you... Jam. It looks like a little grape jam. This car will run away. Too exciting. We'll put you in the box for now. Maybe for good? I don't know yet. Should I swap Scruffly for Pouchlet? I like Scruffly though. Let's get ourselves a Skidoo for the Pokédex.
Uh, Skiddo, excuse me. <laughs> I have the hardest time not calling them Skiddo. Skiddo. Yeah, doing a lot better about not knocking out the Pokemon I want to catch in this video compared to last time. Yeah, and it's all going pretty smoothly. Skiddo, the Mount Pokemon. If it has sunshine and water, it doesn't need to eat because it can generate energy from the leaves around its neck. Something like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I pressed A a little too soon. Here's a new Pokemon. Gold Coast. Here's the seagull. It's Gullet. Nice and low, but Pokeball still didn't do it. Scarfly is knocked out. We'll have to get somebody else up there. Uh, squeaks. <laughs> He's like the perfect size for a little squeaky toy, too. Squeaks is, I mean. Not Gullet. Who we finally caught. Gullet is the trash gull Pokemon. It obsessively seek out and consume garbage, even when it has healthier options. Due to its toxic diet, no predators will touch it. The poison flying type. It's so cute, but it also makes me kind of sad. Because, you know, real seagulls do eat a lot of trash. Especially gross if you've ever seen, like, a... Sometimes they open up like a seagull carcass's stomach and it's just full of beach trash. Uh, on a lighter note, uh, here's another Nidoran. As you can see, the male looks exactly like the female. Just realized Squeaks is the only one on our team right now who does not have a food name. I'd like to say I wasn't hungry while I was naming my Pokemon, but um, if you tried to believe otherwise, I wouldn't blame you. We have candy floss, like cotton candy. Um, <laughs> taffy. <laughs> Mozzarella. Yep. Now biscuit. What I really want is some snacks, I think. Subconsciously, that's what's in the back of my head. Want to go on a snack run? I'm on the lookout for strong alter Pokemon. We alter hunters usually don't bother with the weak ones. It's the big ones that have the best loot. Oh, and it's good for protecting people or whatever. There's an antidote. Birds are the dominant life form. <laughs> okay. All right, bird keeper Finch. Does bird keeper Finch consider candy floss here to be a bird? Like, is it more cat or is it more bird in this fellow's eyes? Or is it like, as long as you're like part bird? Then you got it. I don't know. Candy floss is bird enough for me. Does Outen eat like owl food or does it eat cat food? 
Well, I guess either way it eats mice. Yeah, that's not a big deal. I also need seeds. It might be poison type, but it's also flying. Oops. Sorry, Squeaks. I messed up. And then I messed up again. Because <laughs> I... St <laughs> I'm not used to ground type Nidoran here, but uh, it's got tackle, so I can work with that. But uh, you know, let's let's swap in Taffy because that tackle didn't do as much as I would have liked. Got a fake out in there. And then we'll finish it off with an Astonish. Next up it is another Humborb. No match for Taffy. Keep her finch. No, my birds. Well, let's go over here. Any new Pokemon? Oh yeah! Here's a shiny, shiny gullet. Okay, I gotta focus. Make sure I can catch this. Okay, like I said, I'm recording in the future, so I know what happens. But, uh, maybe, just maybe you're on the edge of your seat. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even sure this game had shiny Pokemon, but that answers that question. I'm thinking here, you know, I'm afraid to even hit it. But, uh, thankfully I remember Mozzarella has sleep powder, so I'm gonna be real cautious about this. I do not want to lose this bullet. So let's put her to sleep. And then I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna go for a great ball and see if that works out. Level five, you know we have a good shot at this. And we got it! Yes! A shiny trash seagull! And it's green! Like a, like a pretty nice shade of green. It's a seaweed green. I'm gonna go with seaweed. And... I mean, it's pretty hard not to train a shiny, right, on your team? How exciting! was kind of leaning against training a gullet and this just makes it you know even harder for me to make my team picks but uh yeah let's stick seaweed on the team <laughs> and save immediately oh my goodness and then i saw another shaking patch of grass and it's a rodillo another new pokemon how many times have I said it's hard to choose what to train? This guy's great too! It's an armadillo that looks like, you know, a road. I really wanted to see seaweed in battle here so I send her out and I completely forgot that she is still asleep. I think they picked a nice color palette for the shiny, you know. Official Pokemon sometimes they look really good and well, sometimes they're either rather unsightly colors or just very subtle difference from the original. I think, I think the green works really nicely. Well, 
I want to catch this Rodillo too. Also, I kind of want to give him a hug. He's just got this really cute face and this soft appearance. I mean, he's probably not soft. He probably feels like asphalt. But he looks cuddly on the underside. Anyway, Squeaks could not handle that. Biscuit might not be able to handle it either, but we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna throw a pretty ball. And that doesn't work. And it has started a rollout. Biscuit is down. Half of my team is down. Maybe Taffy can get in there. Let's try another Pokeball. There we go. Rodillo. Black top Pokemon. It travels great distances by rolling its body into a wheel like shape. Its terrible outer shell allows it to roll over rough, uneven surfaces with ease. We're gonna call you Rodeo. Yeah, it's not a food name this time. Seaweed is like debatably a food name. I mean, personally, I like to appreciate seaweed in the ocean and not eat it. Um, I don't like the taste. But rodeo is not a food. It's a pun. And uh, uh, we're, we're gonna put it in the box for now. A lot of decisions we need to make. Uh, let me know what, you, what you'd like to see me train. If you have any input. But uh, that is enough Pokemon catching for now. I can't believe we got a shiny gullet here. Seaweed. 